In today's episode, I would like to share my philosophy on the role of Chief Information Officer, Chief Technology Officer, and Chief Information Technology Officer. There are strong similarities in these roles. Easiest way to slice it without getting into the technical definitions is which direction you face. Inwards towards the business or outwards towards the customer? Or do you do both? For the sake of this series, we will be referring to all three roles, CIO, CTO, and CITO, as the CITO. I have a personal philosophy about the role of CITO and what that function should bring to an organization. This philosophy centers in on seven traits of an effective CITO, which I'll share with you as the starting point to the CITO mentor discussions. Number one, a CITO is accountable. CITOs are responsible for everything that happens in their department. Leaders make themselves accountable and accept responsibility for failures. And a leader shares success with their team. A CITO is the fire chief of the organization. When there's an emergency and or a threat to business continuity, a CITO takes the lead on the restoration and a CITO responds to those threats with a sense of urgency. When something goes wrong, like power outage, fire, earthquake, theft, system or communication outage, someone needs to take the lead. And the CITO is the right person with the right skills. Number three, the CITO is a planner. The business is looking to you to stay abreast of new technologies and figure out how they can be leveraged for the good of the business. The leadership is looking to you to develop an IT roadmap that considers technical changes, advances and in innovation, and identifies the pitfalls of technology. The business is looking to you to keep the lights on. High availability of systems and services requires significant planning. High availability requires redundancy of power, systems and services, and communication paths, and strong policy and procedure that is well understood and easy for your team to follow. Number four, the CITO knows his department. As a kid, I remember watching a Star Trek episode, original Star Trek with Captain Kirk and Spock. Something Captain Kirk said stuck with me. I remember Kirk William Shatner saying that a captain should know every weld and every seam in his ship, meaning a captain should know everything about his ship to a level of detail. This stuck with me, and it's how I've treated the role of CITO. I need to know my department and be on top of what's happening. My modus operandi is that a CITO knows the landscape from 100,000 feet to ground level. Number five, the CITO brings high availability of systems and services. Redundancy of communication, systems and services, excellent operational process, risk mitigation strategies, and business continuity preparedness have become essential in the modern business world. High availability of systems and services, redundant communication paths, and strong IT process should be way up on your list of important things. Most businesses these days are hybrid between on-prem systems and a cloud presence, where a tech vendor like Amazon or Microsoft provides redundancy models for the services contracted. So be sure to review those contracts and specifics on redundancy and backup as part of your diligence. Number six, the CITO leads a support team. So support people. Customer service is everything. Being customer focused and promptly addressing internal and external customer issues with a smile will enhance the positive perception of your IT department. The CITO mentors their IT teams to be communicative, supportive, and customer service oriented with a nothing falls through the cracks mentality. It's a regular occurrence that I remind my teams, it's okay if you haven't solved an issue for a customer first pass, but it is not okay if the request gets lost 
or if we haven't communicated with the customer, to let them know the disposition of their request. Don't let IT become a black hole where requests go in, but nothing comes out. Number seven, the CITO develops a highly effective team and is an effective mentor. Arguably, the number one responsibility of any leader is to put together a highly effective team that can get the job done right. Finding great talent and mentoring your team effectively is a must. In IT, you want a team loaded with T-shaped skill sets, broad and deep. And you want to be an effective mentor, which requires listening and providing guidance on how to perform the work, as well as explaining why the work is important. Lastly, and not one of the seven bullet points, but critical to the role of a CITO, is strategic planning and road mapping, which are essential skills to your success. I continually look ahead to see what technical innovations or changes the company might leverage and review in detail existing systems and services and their supporting vendors to forecast their availability and effectiveness as time passes. Frequently revisiting the strategic goals of the organization and the shifting of those goals, then identifying technologies that can provide strategic or tactical advantage to meet those goals or positively impact the effectiveness of the organization should be another thing high on your priority list. A perfect example is Chat GPT, which sprang from Instruct GPT and AI apps like it, such as DAL E2. These artificial intelligence applications are available to the public, and many businesses are taking advantage of them. AI tools pose great reward for your company and will certainly bring new problems. Several more episodes will be posted over the next few weeks to my YouTube channel, The Saito Mentor. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when those episodes are posted. And if you feel this information is helpful, please hit the like button too. Thanks. I hope you enjoy the series and it aids you on your career path. Thank you.